हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ यू फाइन वेरी गुड आर यू रेडी टू लर्न यू थिंग ऑल राइट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू एड टू नंबर गिवन एज कमांड लाइन आर्ग्यूमेंट्स फ्रेंड्स ऑल कमांड लाइन आर्ग्यूमेंट्स आर कंसिडर्ड एज स्ट्रिंग बिकॉज दे आर स्टोर्ड इन स्ट्रिंग एरे एंड इन जावा इफ वी एड टू स्ट्रिंग यूजिंग प्लस ऑपरेटर it is called string concatenation if you remember in my previous video we try to add two numbers 1 and 2 but we got the output 12 because their 1 and 2 were string and therefore they became concatenated now what should we do we have to first convert the string in integer and then do the same operation on them let's understand with the help of example this is a notepad file name untitled as usual <laughs> here i am making a class let assume the name of the class add to numbers inside the class i am defining a void main function public static void main string args inside the main function i am taking two variables a and b which are of integer type friends args 0 contains the first argument which is in a string format as i told you just while ago so we have to first convert it into the integer to convert the string which is in number format in integer we use the function parse int but this function is a part of integer class that is why we have to use integer dot parse int means parse int is a static function of integer class that is why i wrote integer dot parse int inside this i passed arc 0 as a argument it will convert the arc 0 into integer and that integer which i store in the variable a likewise in b i am storing the value of args 1 after conversion and then i use system dot out dot println inside that i use a plus b closing curly braces of void min and then close the file now i am saving this file at the same path i am saving this file with a name add to numbers dot java at this dos window i am just compiling this file add to numbers dot java yeah it has been compiled now execute the program by putting the command java add two numbers and here i am giving two arguments one and two as i gave in my previous video and let's check whether it will give the right result or wrong oh very good we got the result 3 okay we do some other experiments also i am just changing the value 1 by 100 and 2 is replaced by 50 and then check whether it will give the correct output or not yeah it gave the correct output it means the parse int function convert the string into the integer now do some other experiment also 
I am passing two other arguments also. Suppose the first argument is Vineet and second argument is Agrawal. <laughs> Whether it will add these two values or not, let's check. Oh my God, an exception occurred. That is number format exception. Why it has been occurred? <laughs> I tell you. Actually, parseInt can convert only those strings which are given in number format and it can convert the same in number because I gave beneath and Agrawal these two strings can't be converted into the integer because that is not given in integer format or number format. That is why this type of exception has occurred. I think you have understood everything. I have one question for you. What will be the output of the following code? Can you tell me the output of the following lines? I'll tell you answer of this question in my next video. In the next video, we will play with loop and learn how can we add n numbers given at command line using loop. So don't forget to watch my next video. Bye-bye.